and one of Donald Trump's supporters, former Republican presidential candidate, Dr. Ben Carson. Dr. Carson, always good to see you, sir. Um, let me ask you quickly about what Mike Pence just said on the Today Show. He said that within a matter of hours, the Trump campaign will provide evidence that shows the accusers of the last few days of Donald Trump have fabricated their stories. Do you have any more insight onto what that evidence may be? Uh, no, I, I do not have any insight into that. Uh, although I do have common sense. And, uh, you know, for instance, if somebody's sitting next to you in the first class section of the airplane, there are stewardesses, there are other people around, and there's this gigantic armrest. Um, I, what happened to all those things? I, I really uh, look at the way that these things have been brought up. And as you know, a week or two, I predicted that this was going to happen and <clears throat> that they will keep coming up with stuff to try to take your eye off the ball. The ball really is about what's happening to America. That's why two out of three Americans are concerned. And what we're engaging in is exactly what happens to pinnacle nations historically before their fall. They take their eye off the ball, start engaging in things that really don't matter that much. Not that, you know, sexual language and abuses is not important, but when you're talking about the train going off the cliff, you really need to deal with that first. The other thing well, that but, but, but done Dr. is Carson, fiscal irresponsibility. Dr. Dr. Well, let me just no, finish no, no, these three no, points, no, you, you get hold two on, points. Hold on, I'll let you get to your second hold. point. You got to let me fit. You got to let me respond to the first point so we can do this in a, in a in a rational way. So on your first point, though, you say the train's going off the cliff. The character of the conductor matters though does it not uh, nations rise and fall based on the quality of their leadership based on the character of their leaders character does count yes, uh, does it not yes yes and and the conductor needs to make a decision if there's a fight going on in the coach car and the train's going off the cliff which one is he going to do that's a good conductor uh, the, the second point is fiscal responsibility Nations, pinnacle nations, before their fall, they become fiscally irresponsible. We see that time after time. And then the, the third thing is they accept corruption in the highest levels as normal. Right. It seems like we've read that playbook and we're ready to go off that cliff. But fiscally irresponsible. It, Donald Trump's uh, economic program actually leads to larger debts and deficits in the future than Hillary Clinton's, does it not? It depends on which economist you want to look at, but let's throw the economists out and let's use common sense. Well, let's use math. And, and let's look at uh, common sense. From 1850 to 2000, our economy grew at an average rate of 3.3%. Since 2000, it's grown at less, at less than half that for the most part. Now, they say it's the new normal. There's nothing normal about it. What we've done is impose enormous restrictions on people with all of these regulations and had a tax system that is not conducive to entrepreneurial risk taking and right. capital investment. You know, we have historical evidence that shows what works and what doesn't. And then, and then people say, well, when you cut taxes, when Bush cut taxes, the deficit went up. Of course it went up because we got involved in two wars, which I didn't agree with. Catty Kay here, you, you just said throw the economists out. That really smacks of something that happened during the Brexit campaign in the UK when one of the Leave campaigners yeah, said we don't such a great job of helping us to get into good we, condition. They, That's why I throw of, them it's out. The, it's kind of anti-elite idea that we don't want experts telling us about the economy. Since Brexit, of course, Sterling has tanked and it's been a problem for the British economy. So perhaps having experts telling us about the economy is not such a bad thing after all. Let me, I want to push you on this allegations of sexual abuse because you seem to be suggesting uh, this morning in this interview with your description of the first class cabin and in previous interviews that these women are lying. The real reason that women who have been sexually abused don't come forward to talk about their stories is precisely this, that all too often they are accused of being liars. Are you saying that these women are lying? That's your characterization because you need to characterize it that way to try to make me the bad guy. No, but no, here's no, no, the no, 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 do you believe these women are lying or not? Nobody's trying to paint you as a bad guy. We just want an answer. Straight talk. It, it, it doesn't matter whether they're lying of or not. Of course it matters. What matters, it's, listen, 
It doesn't matter whether they're lying or not. What matters is that the train is going off the cliff. We're taking our eye off of that no, and Mr. we're getting Mr. involved in other Dr. issues Carson, that can be taken care lying, of later. If the campaign can, is saying, can, listen, and you are suggesting that listen, they are lying because this possibly couldn't have happened because of the way that first class listen, cabins are designed and their air hostess is there, which, you listen, which is implying you that you think they are moment. lying, that they're not telling the truth, Do you then guys that's have a, a plug, huge please? issue. Okay. Here's what we need to be thinking about. I love the fact that all of a sudden you want to talk about morality in our country. I would love us to bring back our Judeo-Christian values and begin to teach those things and emphasize them at a time other than a political election. Let's do that. But right now, the train is going off the cliff. Are, are they not but relevant? You've got to uh, understand uh, that. Dr. Elise. Carson, you definitely know how bruising a primary battle can be. But the entire time you ran for president, you were not accused of a sexual transgression the entire duration of your race, except perhaps by Donald Trump, who referenced you somewhat as a pedophile in a completely unfounded and ridiculous statement. What does it say that there are not, there are one, two, three, four, multiple accusations about Donald Trump, and you didn't have a single accusation like that against you? Again. Are not the important issue. It, it, it's, it's like hitting against a brick wall, getting people, and particularly people in the news media, to understand how much trouble we're in. Look at what's happening to the future of our children. We got a 20, almost $20 trillion national debt, a fiscal gap of $200 trillion. It costs 50% of the electorate are women. You think about, you think about what's happening with our, our borders. You think what's happening with our jobs. You think about what's happening with education. You look at all the division that's going on in our country. A house divided against itself cannot stand. It's like you need to shake people and say, look, you, folks, you said something we've got that to was deal with this. You These said, are not Republican or Democrat you, issues. This is America you we're said talking you about. Wanted to Get talk it about through your Judeo, thick skulls. Yeah, my, my yeah. fold's not really that skit thick. I think Judeo-Christian values should apply not only uh, when we're not in the midst of a campaign, but I think it should apply in a campaign. You said let's just push the Judeo-Christian uh, ethics to the side during the middle of the campaign. Let's talk about it later. Shouldn't they apply right no, now that, as much as usual, uh, well, as much as at why, any time? Why is it that you people in the media Stop like saying to take you something that someone Stop said you and, 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 then, and, and, then, you know and then try don't, to recharacterize it as something people. else so that Why you can then come back and say, this is what he said. Answer. Why not just listen to what I'm telling you? Well, I am listening to what you're telling me, and you can go back, and the great thing is we have transcripts and we have tapes, and you said we shouldn't, we shouldn't focus on Judeo-Christian values right now. It's on the transcript. It's on the tape. Do you think you Judeo-Christian values apply during campaigns or only after campaigns? Now, let me tell you what I actually said, and I'm glad it is on the tape. I am, too. I said I would love for us to engage in a conversation on Judeo-Christian values, and I would love for us to bring morality back, and we need to do it at times other than a political campaign, but we're not doing that. Right now, what we need to do is concentrate on the reason that two out of three Americans feel that our country is on the wrong track. In the media, the reason that you are protected by our Constitution is because you're supposed to be objective and on the side of the people and helping them. When you take sides, it is absolutely distorting what, to the what original side of, What side have I taken, Dr. Carson? I'm just curious because I'll tell you what, Hillary Clinton people well, think ask, I'm on Trump's side and Trump people think I'm on Hillary Clinton's side. I'm so confused. I don't know what me, side I'm on. Let me ask you a question. Do you uh, sure. believe that, 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 that your network is unbiased? I don't believe any network is unbiased. All right, then you have just confirmed what I said. You need to be working toward that goal. No, I haven't Don't I just haven't capitulate to the fact. Don't just capitulate to it. There aren't but robots running any network. I mean, there, there, there is, there is a, a point of view at Fox. There's a you, point of view at CNN. There's a point of view at MSNBC, with the New York Times, with the Wall Street Journal. I mean, and I'm smart enough to read all of those and fa filter through it. And I'm, I'm sure you are too, right? Well, well, how about, how about you become the champion for the people 
and start I am the champion for the people, objective. sir. <laughs> D Doctor, I, I am, and that's, right. why, that's why we let Democrats <laughs> and Republicans come on, and we consider this to be a safe zone, and we don't let people talk okay. in talking points. Okay, work, work on your colleagues then, please. My colleagues can take care of themselves, but Dr. Carson, we thank you for being with us. Uh, and uh, uh, you work on your colleagues. Please work on my Republican Party and Elise's Republican Party. We're in trouble. Thank you for being with us. It's a deal. All it's right. a deal. Um, I, I, I don't know, Elise. You didn't answer the question. That's did I, did so I misunderstand that's so something? That's so disappointing to me because I heard Dr. Carson speak when I was in college, and it was the most incredible, inspiring speech I've ever heard about his upbringing, about his Christian faith. It was the kind of speech that I said, this man should run for president. And this was, you know, 10 years ago, showing my age. Right. That, I, I don't know who that man is, the Christian man who does have beliefs and now he's trying to give these vague talking points about the train running off the cliff and trying to ignore these issues of morality that are so central to the character that we want our president right. to but, have. But, but so central if, to if the, character the question counts, every woman is asking. Yes. Willie doesn't, uh, 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 doesn't character count and, and Caddy doesn't character count now? Of course it counts. More than ever? More than ever. If you talk about Judeo-Christian values in government you don't put them aside now, right? Yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't understand. How uh, the question we asked we're talking was a about very simple question. Mm. It was a totally non-biased question. Does he... Think the women are lying? Think the women are lying. Yes or no? Right. He also said in the Fox and Friends interview yesterday that the guarantee from the New York Times to these women was, we'll give you fame. This is, so the, idea, is that, the this idea that sexual assault accusers come forward to become famous is so not just preposterous, but offensive as to be, as to be, uh, oh, I don't want to well, say dismiss the campaign, but I, I just think to Elise's point, Dr. Carson knows better. Yes. Yeah. And as you say, Elise, as a man who was accused of being a pedophile, like a pedophile in the primary campaign. I, I'm, I'm doubly surprised. It just flabbergasts me. I don't yeah. see how he can get up and do that. Yeah. I really don't. All right, Morning Joe, we'll be back in a moment, and I guarantee you no colleagues, Willie, will be worked on. I think you're just <laughs> we'll fine, right? We'll keep our microphones open. Thanks. Yeah. All right.